is a good one coming up. Also today in health news, a brand new surgery that's giving some children born without ears a brand new lease on life. Also today health news. Thousands of children are born each year with a birth defect called microtia. You know, in case you've never heard of this, it's an ear abnormality that often goes undetected even in ultrasounds. A San Antonio surgeon is doing something incredible right here that is helping correct these deformities. Our day-to-day -day health reporter Wendy Rigby joins us now with details. Microtia, what is it? Microtia, good afternoon. How you doing? Um, these children have small, abnormally shaped ears. When you see the pictures, you may have seen people who have this. Mm -hmm. Their hearing is also affected. Many of them don't have a hole in that side of their head. They have I, the inner ear, but not the hole. Right, and I thought it was interesting that you can't even see it in an ultrasound. That's I mean, right. I thought it would show up there, but... No. So yeah. a lot of times parents are very surprised when they hear about microtia. Microtia occurs in one in every six to 12,000 births. It mostly affects boys on the right side for some reason. Many of the children suffer emotional trauma, and this cosmetic surgery dramatically changes their lives. We should warn you, though, this story does contain some graphic surgical video. Ten-year-old Andrew Lamica is getting ready for the second of four surgeries to correct his microtia. He's endured questions. This is a good one coming up. Also today in health news, a brand new surgery that's giving some children born without ears a brand new lease on life. Also day today health news. Thousands of children are born each year with a birth defect called microtia. You know, in case you've never heard of this, it's an ear abnormality that often goes undetected even in ultrasounds. A San Antonio surgeon is doing something incredible right here that is helping correct these deformities. Our day-to-day -day health reporter Wendy Rigby joins us now with details. Microtia, what is it? Microtia. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Um, these children have small, abnormally shaped ears. When you see the pictures, you may have seen people who have this. Mm -hmm. Their hearing is also affected. Many of them don't have a hole in that side of their head. They have I, the inner ear, but not the hole. Right, and I thought it was interesting that you can't even see it in an ultrasound. That's I mean, right. I thought it would show up there, but... No. So yeah. a lot of times parents are very surprised when they hear about microtia. Microtia occurs in one in every six to 12,000 births. It mostly affects boys on the right side for some reason. Many of the children suffer emotional trauma, and this cosmetic surgery dramatically changes their lives. We should warn you, though, this story does contain some graphic surgical video. Ten-year-old Andrew Lamica is getting ready for the second of four surgeries to correct his microtia. He's endured questions about his appearance for years. They used to tease me about my ear and all that other stuff, and I just wanted it because I wanted, I didn't want this to stop the teasing. Last year, it's when it, I think, got to him, and he said, when am I going to have surgery? I want surgery. And that's when it dawned on me where, yes, okay, I have to find out something. i got to do something. During that first surgery, doctors took cartilage from Andrew's rib cage in a procedure like this. Dr. Arturo Bonilla uses a YAG laser to cut the tissue he needs to shape the ear. He says using a piece of the child's own body is better than a prosthesis since it grows along with the body and has a better chance of staying in place for life. The goal of all this is to be able to drill through the bone in his skull to get to his middle ear to have, make him have some hearing. It's helping with the hearing. The little child we're doing, we're doing right now is actually affected on both sides, so she has no hearing on both sides. Dr. Bonilla must match the size as closely as possible to the size of the other ear. While there's no proven cause for microtia, some theories include medication side effects or environmental effects. Today, Andrew is looking forward to a whole new look. I'm looking forward to having a better haircut. And I want a buzz cut. <laughs> a buzz cut. A navel haircut. Each procedure takes four to five hours. Dr. Bonilla will be performing several hundred of these surgeries over the next five years. He's not only restoring hearing, he's restoring lives. Dr. Bonilla has founded the Microtia Congenital Ear Institute here in San Antonio, and he's seen patients from all over the U.S. and Mexico. Dr. Bonilla says many of his patients transform from these shy, self-conscious children into these proud, self-confident children like the child you saw He was there. so cute about a navel buzz cut. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to check back in and get the picture of him. <laughs> exactly. He was actually smiling from ear to ear. He was. There he you was. go. He was and it's sweetheart. so good to see that going on right here in it San is. Antonio. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Good story. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Wendy.